Through all the adversity the city of Detroit has gone through for the past few years, one district in the city has maintained and created a template for success by working together with businesses and community organizations. That is none other than District 2. Here's the resume for District 2. They have the highest per capita income, the lowest percentage of households living in poverty, and the fewest vacant buildings in the city. Also, District 2 is the home to the newly built Gateway Marketplace, the first new major shopping center in Detroit in the last 50 years. With a newly renovated ER hospital within its borders, District 2 is ready to shine for the world. But like every district in the city, blight continues to slow progress in Detroit. Under the watchful eyes of District Manager Kim Tandy and Deputy Director Sean Davis, blight will be a thing of the past if they have anything to say about it. Um, as a district manager, our, our job right now is to really fight blight. So we're working with the neighborhoods and the communities in the city to actually um, get the residents back to where they were in the past and to um, establish a better quality of life for all of our residents here in the city of Detroit. Deputy district manager's uh, position is the uh, same as the uh, district manager's. Uh, we're concentrating on uh, neighborhood services such as basically just uh, the blight and nuisance of our district. I lived uh, in District 2 for 27 years. We have Palmer Park, Palmer Woods, uh, we have the Detroit Golf, uh, Golf Course, we have the beautiful U of D, uh, Mary Grove College, and there's a number of staple properties in areas of District 2. I have lived in Detroit all of my life and actually have lived in um, District 2 all of my life except for when I went away to school for about four years. Our district is unique because we have a large group of solid neighborhoods that have solid neighborhood associations that are extremely, extremely active in our communities. And they have been for a very long time. We have great housing stock. And for the most part, most of our neighborhoods have really nice houses um, that have been maintained. And the citizens that have been here and have stayed here and fought for their, their properties have done a really good job in maintaining. And right now, as the District 2 managers, we're just working to help with those properties that haven't been maintained to bring those back up to the, to, to the regular standards where they were used to. The great housing stock in District 2 means families will come back and live in the district. Strong neighborhoods translate into a stronger economic base for the district, and businesses are seeing the fruits of their labor. My name is Lonnie Mitchell from Mitchell's Clothing, Mitchell's on the Avenue. Life is uh, springing up, it's coming back. The business is, uh, is increasing, and uh, I'm encouraged by what I see. This shopping district is coming back to life. People are investing, uh, and the people, the consumers, are coming. And it has a lot of potential. Leadership will be a key to building a stronger district. In 2013, the residents in District 2 elected a representative on city council who knowledge and experience on the local, county, and state level makes him the perfect choice towards leading District 2 forward. That is none other than Council Pro Temp, George Cushenberry. I am very pleased to represent the people of Northwest Detroit since 1974, either as a member of the legislature or the county commission and now as a city council. Northwest Detroit is a place where there are unique universities. Um, we have everything from the wealthiest people to the least fortunate. Um, along 8 Mile in the, the more fashionable Palmer Woods area, all the way over to Southfield Road where at Southfield and 8 Mile, we have some challenges. Um, my district is unique is that we have one of the highest, we have the highest voting um, record in the city for the city residents. Uh, we have a very high literacy level in our area because there are a lot of people who work and who um, work at the universities as well as many different industries. I love the people in my district most because we are good-hearted, good people who will try to help you if we can. With support from City Council and the Mayor, Neighborhood District Manager's responsibilities for maintaining the district is important to the city's success. Well, the changes that we can expect uh, from us is um, trying to get rid of the, the, the blighted homes and um, uh, the, bur the burnt-up homes, the blighted uh, properties, um, 
holding building owners accountable for um, taking care of their properties. We would hope to have it the mayor's first term. Focus Hope is um, a wonderful organization that has been around for a very long time. They're an organization that has um, worked with our youth and actually adults and helping them in job training and, and um, job placement. And they're just a, a wonderful community partner. They're actually, um, even though they work in a, they have their own area that they focus on, they actually outreach to many citizens across the whole city, not just for District 2. And they're um, a, a group that really helps our citizens to become um, to get some education and some feedback so that they can actually have a, a better quality of life. We have great commercial strips. So we have Avenue of Fashion and actually historic Baker's Keyboard Lounge, which is the oldest um, jazz um, business in the, in the country. So the oldest jazz club in the country. So the Avenue of Fashion and the great commercial strip down in Livernois. 31 years old, I live in Detroit. I've lived in District 2 for about 25 years. I like this neighborhood. <laughs> um, I don't really go travel to any other neighborhoods too often, but I really like this neighborhood. It's quiet, it's peaceful. Um, it's nice in the summertime. They just planted a lot of apple trees over here, so it should be nice. Growing up over here, it, it was kind of rough because of the neighborhood, but one of the things I did enjoy about this neighborhood was this park. One of the mainstays in District 2 is Palmer Park. Every day, residents from across the city use this park to work on their jump shot, their backhand, or run around the park to stay in shape. I just came up, I came up here every day with my brother uh, to play, and you know, that was our little getaway, was to come up here and uh, play ball with a lot of the guys up here. Um, but as, as far as a kid, I didn't really do too much traveling around here. It is, the neighborhood isn't the best, but this place was like our sanctuary, this basketball court in this park. It kept us out of a lot of trouble. I like the changes they made with the swimming pool for the summer, you know, it's the sprinklers for the kids. Um, I would like to see them fix up this court a little bit because we do use the basketball court a lot in the sun when it's warm outside. I do see a lot of changes being made, so, so I can't say too much. I'm proud of that, but I mean, we still got a long way to go, but I am proud of the changes I do see being made. With all the elements coming into place for District 2, City Council Pro Tem George Cushenberry feels all the pieces are coming together. The plans and, and the activities that we're doing will have impacts to people throughout the whole city. And um, the new lighting department and what's going on there, the new garbage pickup and, and the, the efforts to clean our city up, uh, the cooperation between the council and the mayor, and uh, we're, we're, we're moving forward on all fronts. As chairman of the Budget and Finance Committee, my thing is to make sure that we're on sound financial footing and that we can leave um, this emergency management and make sure that we enter into a decade where we don't have financial emergencies in the city. With District 2 leadership ready to carry on the rich traditions and successes they already are enjoying, this leadership will not rest on yesterday's victories, but look forward to a new beginning and accomplishments. While today's sunset sets on Blight and District 2, rest assured tomorrow's sunrise will light the road to Detroit's future for a better tomorrow. For more information about your city council representative or your Department of Neighborhood District Manager, visit DetroitMI.gov.